Okay, and we're back with some more trails and reverie. I should watch out to the gamer. Before I even buy equipment and stuff, I'm gonna make sure I go to all these districts. That I, they heard there were other people here. You know, Reen said there was others here. I want to see all who I get in my party before I make choices on what I do. There, I don't like playing with everybody. Some people are very weak and no this to the least. Be a bit on the weak side, and I just want to make sure I got everything before I um or everybody. This is as usual. Oh, I bet missed whatever that was gonna be. The information blackout will only last for so long. Oh, at least you can see. Need to find a lead soon. Agreed. Okay, well, let me look over we'll here We need to first. give this place a thorough look. Okay, uh, yeah, we're going to definitely need to get that. Special issue. You want to get all those. Um, say it over here. You want to get the orange pecky. Uh, pretty sure I'm going to need some items. I'm going to take care of all that off screen. Uh, let's see what you got up here. This is stuff I'm just getting that I know I um, you usually have to come to these places and get something from these. Uh, these I, I got a lot of items I need to pick up from there as well. I'm just getting the main stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a part of something. Uh... Is that Alan? It is Alan. Hey, Alan and Bridget. Is that Alan? Bridget? Hey, Reen. Fancy running to, into you all here. It's been a while, hasn't it? Alan and I were just enjoying some quality time together between one of his missions. Sorry to interrupt. So, does that mean the army has been keeping busy? Pretty much. The army divisions have been stretched thin due to being scaled back. I'm doing everything I can to reduce the load on General Craig and Lieutenant Colonel Nightheart. I still owe them a lot after the war. That's why I volunteered to travel around the Empire to serve as a Panzer Soldat drill instructor. Huh, and work on communication missions. You'd think he'd be promoted by now. Doing all that, the whole reason I'm in the capital today was to make a report. It's about something that supposedly affects all of the divisions. It seems like a little shady to, wait, it seems a little shady to me, but we're covering all the bases to be, just to be safe. What causes you to find it suspicious? I don't think he's allowed to share that. I'm not, but I wouldn't be surprised if you guys ended up finding out on your own. Don't be surprised if the Imperial Army reaches out to you when the time comes. Hearing that just makes me more worried about what they've been doing. <laughs> she looks so down. Even the nobility has been stressed. This year, with many families reorganizing their territories, my family has been helping uh, coordinate. Father's been so busy that I've had to help him, which means it's even harder for Alan and I to make time to see one another. It helps knowing that we'll finally be able to hold our wedding once things come down. Hey, they're gonna get married. No shit. I bet that's the motivator. I suppose uh, it is about time you two tied the knot. Congrats again. Thanks, man. I finally feel like I'm a man worthy uh, of being by Bridget's side after leaving the war behind. I don't plan on letting that change between now and the big day. Oh, oh, Alan. <laughs> Based on what I've heard uh, so far from Alan and Emily, the armor divisions and air force are both preparing for some sort of top secret mission. Given the current situation in Erebonia, that must mean you can just about guess. At least I can. I personally think that it means that they're going to, um, what does that have? That they're going to go try to make some sort of attempt on Crossville to try to, uh, free it. I don't know, though. Could be dangerous as shit. I don't know. Um, I think there's any other place down here. I did go to this lady, right? 
Yeah, yeah, I got the orange pecky. Okay. And I'll come back and get the food and some more items I want to get. But I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to travel around everywhere here before we um go to... Uh... <clears throat> Crap, okay. Before we head to uh, do that mission for Dorothy, the side mission. Yeah. Hey, Vivi, Lindy. I get Vivi being there. What the hell is Lindy doing there? Well, 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 if it isn't class seven. I had no idea you were in the capital. We were expecting to, we weren't expecting to run into the two of you either. Oh, uh, is this a bad time? Everyone here looks really busy. Oh, don't worry about that. I was just in the mood for a break anyway. Besides, there's no better way to get the hot scoops than talking to you, Rain. <laughs> Although I'm guessing your sister would have plenty of uh, plenty of guys to share too, being uh, the student council president and all. Oh, I wouldn't be sh so sure about that. Oh, and I, I'm definitely asking uh, to interview you at some point, Ash. So keep a look eye out for that. I think we all know uh, what that will be about. Can we just drop that? <laughs> Yeah, I think that one's going to stick with you. Either way, I think we've made you stand for long enough. There are some chairs for meetings. And, oh, there's some chairs for meetings and the like over there. Why don't we go sit down? Yeah, pretty sure she wants to ask him questions about why he shot the Emperor. Yeah, oh yeah. If you don't mind me asking, what brings you here Lin anyway, Linday? I thought you were still doing your residency over at St. Ursula. I am, technically. After I finished helping out at the branch campus, I started another year of study in Crossbell. But while I was here in Heimdall for a training session, Crossbell got occupied, so here I am. Oh, okay, that makes sense then. That would explain it. So obviously, she decided to come spend some time with her favoriteest sister in the world. You mean her onlyest sister? In the world. She's helping us with clerical work as a part timer right now. With okay, hold it. Okay, all right. Set the scope on the neck and everything. Okay. <laughs> well, ain't your company a bunch of bleeding hearts? Well, even if they said no, I was just gonna make her pretend to be me. Either way, I win. She can't do that all her life. <laughs> That sounds very illegal. <laughs> I love the look on Tina's face when she like says something to people and she responds. She has like this blank ass robotic look. Look at look at her face. She just looks like she ain't buying shit that Vivi saying. <laughs> Still, I don't think anyone saw this coming. The former governor general suddenly declared himself the supreme leader of Crossville. That's a shocker. The craziness you saw. When you came in here, is everyone trying to get a special issue ready about it all? Still, it's somewhat strange how little the general population has been reacting to the news. Everyone seems shockingly calm. I've been getting that impression during my time in the capital too. I imagine it's due in part to the fact that no one is able to communicate with anyone over at Crossbow. Maybe that lack of immediacy is keeping the reality of the situation from sneaking in. Has the Chronicle conducted any opinion polls on the issue? You sure have. And I gotta say, I was surprised by what people thought the Empire should do in light of all this. Most people responded that we should try to avoid any major conflicts. That is somewhat surprising. Given the recent history of Eriponia, I would have assumed people would respond more belligerently. Maybe people are finally just sick of war. Yep. I think that's what it is. That would be my take as well. The Battle of Jormungand, uh, Jormungandr may have only lasted one entire day, but the economic toll of our reparations and the mental toll on those who were conscripted cannot be ignored. 
it's taken half a year for us to get to the point where life's finally starting to go back to normal too. Of course, that's just your average Erebonia's take on the issue, not the government's stance. But neither the government nor his majesty have cleared things up on that front yet. I've tried asking the military for a statement a few times, but no dice. Now that, I'm not surprised by. Still, thanks for the information. I feel like I have a better grasp of the situation now. You're very welcome. Now then, Reen Hoskoops, <laughs> Hoskoops Schwarzer, why don't you tell me about how your little investigation is going? And don't play dumb, I know all about it. You do? Did they ask you to assist with the search vegan? Not quite. See, I first caught wind of it from a fellow, fellow reporter a little while back. It was just a rumor at that point, but I got right to work trying to co corroborate it. I hit up every source I had, from other reporters uh, to fellow Thor's alumni like Edo, Fee, and Monk. Eventually, Major Claire realized I was hot on the story, and let's be real, at that point, she didn't really have any options other than reaching out to me herself, so that's how I know. From anyone else, that story would surprise me, but from you, Vivi, the information was shared with me, too, because I'm helping Vivi out. Unfortunately, I don't think we know any more than you do yet. Yeah, but if we catch word of anything, you'll be the first ones to know. So give us a call if you catch word of anything yourselves. All right, will do. Nice to see the ladies. Everything is uh looking okay with them. <laughs> All right, now we shall head to Jalakul's Plaza. Or what is via? Check out the shop. And uh, no, we don't need any eyes. The Emperor just... and Empress must be worried sick. Princess Elfin has tried to put on a brave face at school, but deep down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The sooner we can find them, the sooner everyone can rest easy. Oh, yeah, we can't approach it. Well. This statue, the Lionheart, Emperor Dracos. Ah, oh, look what it is! Hey, that was so good. I thought she was a little bit taller on the last one. They gave her a new body. All right, we can officially cross Dracos Plaza off the list. I'm ready to hit up the next spot. <laughs> There's no need to be in such a rush. <laughs> How do you still have space in your stomach for more? <gasps> you insult me, Eusis. I need to try all the capital's mouth-watering morsels. I can't throw in the towel this early. <laughs> <laughs> you need to sample them all without eating more than your body mass in one sitting. <laughs> Says you. I'm still growing. I gotta eat. <laughs> growing up has less to do with regular consumption and more to do with acting like an adult. Oh, boy. Here it goes. Oh! Hey guys! You sis! Good to see you, man. And good old Milliam. So good, to, good to, to that, by the way. It's good to even just see her alive again, man. If you want me to start acting like an adult, then you've got to start treating me like it. How's the girl supposed to feel big without being called a big sister? Counter argument to your counter argument. That makes no sense. <laughs> yes, it does. Don't be mean. Oh, my God. I didn't expect you all to come this early. We were going to, around gathering info when we happened to see you here. At least wanted to help us out, too. So that's why she's here. I'll do my best not to trouble you. I don't think there's any chance of that. You'll be a fine help. If you need anything, just lean on me. Thank you. I will. I think anyone else, uh, I mean, I think anyone can tell Elise is 
going to be a more reliable asset than you are. That's funny as hell. Rude. <laughs> Seeing them all at the stall together uh, takes me back to the summer festival. Ah, uh, yeah. How is that only a few short uh, months ago? It feels like so much longer. I can't imagine you, uh, you just saw uh, what Rufus is doing coming either. It has to be weighing heavily on him. But at least he has Milliam to take his mind, help take his mind off of it. Come on, give Big Sissy some love. Look <laughs> at her face. <laughs> Altina's face is the, like just gold, dude. <laughs> Please remove yourself from around my neck. Oh, I thought she would open up a little bit more now that she's back. But we haven't seen each other in forever. It's barely been two weeks. That's two whole weeks. <laughs> uh, she whines, but she's not trying to escape. That's true. Very true, Ash. This is how it always is, is with them now. <laughs> hey, do you want to try some gelato or ice cream from one of the stalls? I'll treat you. The milk ice cream is super rich and tasty. I'll pass. I need to room, leave room for lunch. You're never going to grow any bigger if you only eat the bare minimum, Tilly. I've gained another reach on you since our last update. At this rate, you're gonna need heels to get anywhere close to my height. But then again, I am older, so maybe I've earned it. Hmm. Now she's gonna get some. One ice cream cone, please, with five scoops. Damn. You only allow three scoops maximum? Then I'll take three. But I'd appreciate it if you made them as big as possible. <laughs> She really doesn't want to lose this thing they've got going on, huh? <laughs> anyway, were you guys gathering intel or just on a date? We were not standing idly, and we were certainly not on a date. We've been looking into the flow of goods in, in the capital. That would explain why you were visiting multiple shops and stalls. What did you learn then? Well, it seems there's a lot of groups buying stuff in bulk lately. All kinds of stuff, too. Food, ornaments, it's almost like they're getting ready for something. That is unusual. I could get uh I can get panic buying in response to Crossbell's occupation, but lately implies before that Yeah, the war is over and the winter's still far off, so it can't be stocking up for the weather. The buyers themselves are suspicious sorts. When we started looking into them, in detail, we discovered they were either startups or foreign. That, and they all appear to exist in name only. That only adds to the mystery. Oh, you're already done with your ice cream? Wasn't it good? Well, yes, I have to admit that. <laughs> we're not here to discuss ice cream. If the buyers exist in name only, could we be dealing with cases of fraud? It's a good question. Uh, no. Actually, no. The transactions are legitimate, the sellers receive their money, the goods were dispatched. But the other significant mystery is that there is no record of where any of these goods ended up. The intelligence division has tried tracking some of the orders, but they just get forwarded all over the place before disappearing along with other orders like this. That is interesting. They may have had better luck if they marked their order from the moment uh, it's placed by the last. Right. By the time they realize they're dealing with another one of these, the transaction is already long done. So do we think whoever's uh, doing this has gathered all the stuff they need by now? Probably. It sounds as though we're dealing with some very skilled criminals. Perhaps the reborn Imperial Liberation Front is hoarding supplies? What is it? Nothing worthy of note. I was just wondering if it perhaps may, be, uh, may lead to Crossbell's new supreme leader instead. Well, it could. I cannot, fath cannot fathom why my brother would be so foolish. I don't know either, man. This is crazy. I thought he finally learned his lesson. 
It makes no sense to me either. I haven't known him for that long, even if we were both Ironbloods. But after we beat him in the Imperial Fortress, he seemed pretty much done. I think we're all under that same impression. Either way, speculating on what he's trying to do serves us no purpose in the now. Regardless of his reasons, I would be sure to right the wrongs as his brother. I'm sorry you're going through this, Eustace. Right now, our primary focus isn't him, but the missing prince and princess. That doesn't mean we can't afford to turn a blind out of Crossbell, mind. I'm just not sure whether the crisis there and the disappearance are connected in any way. I'm pretty sure it is. But whatever the answer is, when our focus inevitably turns to him, you won't be alone in confronting him. So don't try running off alone, okay? Don't worry, I wouldn't dare. I think he was going to. <laughs> I'm well aware that there is only so much I can do alone. Good, because your friends are here to help you in times of need, and you definitely need us here. Well then, should we get back to gathering information? That would be wise. The more we can find, the better. Then let's go, go, go. Me and the little bunny are about ready to go. Indeed, we can't let the rest of Class 7 be the only ones working hard. And I'll be here for whatever you need. Okay. Yeah, so... Definitely, uh, I would say go around and visit places because... Oh, there's a fishing spot over there. Almost missed it. Oh, you know what? I bet you can get ice cream from here, too. Yep. Yes, you can. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna have to sell something to, uh... Be able to get all my armor and stuff I'm gonna need. I see some fish swimming around. There it is. Huh? A bite. <laughs> nice. I was gonna miss it. Get back over here. I almost messed it up. It's a whopper. A carp? There it is again. You see it? It said tier, uh, 10 Tiro bombs, but you come in the menu? Nothing. That means I got one. That glitch, man, I tried to uh, show that in the last video. God, I fucked that up. Yeah. Not bad at all. No, I'm trying to get that great. Huh? A bite. <laughs> nice. There we go. That's a big fish. I don't know what type it is. Almost messed that up. It's tough to catch that one. It's a whopper. It's perch. Yeah. Okay. That's what we wanted right there. Shoot. All right. Um. Well, shoot. Let me stop that. Let's go to Mater Park. Oh, I think I know who's going to be here. Yeah. I can already hear the music. Modern Park is a popular spot to relax and unwind. Modern Park, okay. Don't I know it. I've taken some good-ass naps here. <laughs> oh, there he is. Yep. This music is always so beautiful. Okay, some fresh uh, squeezed juice right here. Finding him sure didn't take long, huh? Never does. Go where the music is. I had their way in a sec. Yeah, there's a dun there's a thing down here, a set of stairs there to go to the dungeon right there. 
This little girl looks familiar. But some of these character models are the same. For how tranquil this place usually is, I can't help but always think of when the ILF made a mess of it. Hmm. I remember being terrified when the princess and I were kidnapped at the time, but it feels like more a distant memory now. Every story I hear about you reminds me how strong a person you truly are. The, the fishing spot over here? See if we catch something different. Got a bite. Shit. Got away. If we get something uh, different here, I mean, we don't get anything different here, then I know that was probably the only thing we can catch in this area. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's like it's perch again. It's a whopper. All right. See, and that thing said you get three hundred us. Uh, Except that I bet it's 30. There's something wrong with their digits. They need to get that shit fixed, man. Oh, he's back there with his friends. The ones who are acting like, uh... Jerks. The uh, first time we came here. Let's go get a better view. Okay, I couldn't keep up with that. That was automatically doing it. I don't know if we could have given a better performance. It may have been our best one yet. Oh, but there's always room for improvement. Elliot! <laughs> I think I'm with them on this one. It's not often our ensemble comes together this perfectly. You got me there. I don't think we had a single note out of sync, did we? Nope. We were all feeling it to the point where it felt natural to play as one. I think you two were so into it that you forgot we had an audience. Not sure I should be proud of losing myself like that. But when it's just you and the music, there's no better feeling in the world. Well, I'll give you a pass this time. As long as our audience is happy, um, was happy, then that's all that really matters. And they were very happy. <clears throat> you know, we wouldn't be having moments like uh, these if not for you two. Yeah, if you hadn't shown up when you did, that experience gave me a real wake-up call on just how much power uh, music can have. And it's up to us to decide how to use that power, be it for good or ill. I regret what we decided last year. I can't believe we tried to take such a beautiful thing and twist it to inspire a war. What were we thinking? I've completely forgot about that. Whatever it was, it's in the past now. Exactly. You're back to your old selves now, right? A good thing, too, because today wouldn't have gone nearly as well without you. Yeah, I could never dream of being how I was. Now we could take uh, what we've learned and focus on better in our uh, both ourselves and the world as musicians you almost make it sound like you'll be flying circles around me if I don't pick up the slack then we'll just have to keep up the pace oops got sidetracked I spotted a few familiar faces among the audience and meant to uh, say hello sooner oh yeah your friends from Thor's right we should say hello together yeah let's go it's cool to see them all growing up Sorry for making you wait, but I'm glad you stuck around for the show. What'd you think? No need to be polite. Tell us how we really did. You guys were good. I thought it was brilliant. You were in perfect harmony with one another. I was genuinely speechless. Yeah, almost hurts that I wasn't able to catch the start of it. I'll take that. <laughs> we thought we did well too, but it's nice hearing it wasn't just in our heads. I see you found uses in Milium. Indeed, 
We met not too long ago before coming here. Now we're all together. <laughs> she always got to add that little, a little stuff on the side, man. <laughs> Sorry if it feels like we dragged you, uh, we dragged you over our, our way. Is this the first time uh, you've seen each other as a whole? Oh no, we had a class reunion not too long ago. We just haven't had the chance to play together in ages. We couldn't pass it up uh, with all of us not being in Heimdall. I mean, being in Heimdall now. The Ravel Company started up a small orchestra, and I couldn't resist applying since I used to work there. Then Ron and Morris joined too. And so here we are. I didn't know they started one. I imagine you have to be a top notch to be accepted. Yeah, it wasn't easy getting accepted, let me tell you. But hey, we can't let Elliot show us up all the time. So it was worth the hustle. Makes sense. I'm just glad you found a way to keep playing music that makes you happy. And the thing that uh, the thing that makes me happy is four of us going on tour together in the future. So I hope we can. Wow, really? Considering, uh, consider my bag's already packed. Did you guys just forget what we were talking about? Ellie can do what he likes, but we have to work around the orchestra's schedule. I'm sure we can figure something out, though. By the way, I wasn't expecting to see Elise with you. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Your classes are, so, uh, your classes are sorely missed. I haven't done that many, but that's so nice of you to say. What, you're a teacher? I think the girls mentioned uh, that to me, come to think of it. You're a music lecturer at, at St. Astraea. Oh, I thought he was just uh, going on tour and doing his music. Provisional, but yeah. Still learning the ropes uh, to show, uh, to show, to still learn the ropes to showing the ropes. <laughs> but it's been a lot of fun so far. I've got tongue tied as hell on that one. Oh, I want you to teach me music, Elliot. Oh, that was Milliam saying, Ooh, I want you to teach me music, Elliot. I'm amazed you can carve out the time, but I can see you having a knack for it. I can't believe you get to instruct at an all-girls school, too. Elliot always manages to look out in life, huh? I wish I could lecture at St. Astraea. St. Astraea? Astraea? Whatever. Just, just once would be enough. I hope uh, I hope you never will if you think he's looking out. Uh, yeah, <sighs> she had to bust her bubble. Oh, is it that? Is that the time? We should probably get going. Rivel wants us to start rehearsing at their flagship store. Yeah, we'll see you guys around. Have fun with the rest of your time in Heimdall. I'll make sure they do. Hope rehearsal goes well. See you later. Well, guess it's time we got started. I managed to gather some useful information. That was fast. Where from? I spoke to a few fans and hit up some connections at the Music Academy. It seems Imperial Army soldiers have been spotted in town a lot more than usual these days. And whatever they're uh, meeting up for is not on a docket. That is suspicious. I called Dad to see if anything uh, he knew anything about it, but no luck there. Sounds like the prince's disappearance is top secret, even when you go pretty high up. I got the feeling he knew something, though. Just that he wasn't sharing. It's very odd for soldiers to be having secret meetings while in uniform. It's possible they are foreign spies discussing themselves as soldiers. I mean, I'm talking about discussing, disguising themselves as soldiers. But I don't want, I, d I don't see what they would stand to gain from their actions. Yeah, I don't think it's that deep. I'm with Ash on this one. It wouldn't shock me if they were still in uniform while off the clock because they were short on time. Is something bothering you, Elise? There is, but I like to get my thoughts in order a little before sharing. What the hell? Oh, all right then. All we got now is that something smells fishy. Uh, how did you pronounce her name? Lady Aurora? Aurora? 
Arwar. I don't know, man. I said Arya, uh, but Arya uh, instincts were absolutely on to something, yeah. It's too early to say for certain if any of this relates to C. But we should keep that in the back of our minds just in case. Right, you never know when the pieces will start coming together. The investigation continues then. Yeah, let's keep our eyes peeled. Alright, so Elliot's in. Cool. So now I gotta think of a good party. I don't know. What's a good party here? At least, Mr. Craig. Oh, you're from my brother's school. Um, does that mean Yuna and Kurt are with you by any chance? I'm afraid not. Oh, that's a shame. They were in San Estrella uh, recently to solve some kind of problem, if I recall, and create new problems while they're at it. I wasn't with them for most of it, but it sounds like it was eventful, to say the least. I saw you two in the audience earlier. By the way, what did you think? What did I think? It was stellar. Your music just made me burst with energy. I never wanted to end. It made me want to put on the extra cell, cell jersey, cell, the cell in music class so I can perform even half as well. You should know how to butter up your instructor. I'm glad uh, your, our feelings resonated uh, so much with you. It definitely did. Today was my lucky day. There's only one thing that could have made it just a little bit luckier. I hope to see you again sometime. And if the students who helped out at the school tag along, I wouldn't complain. Certainly, there has to be more than what she said. I bet. Let's poke Yuna about it later. Interesting. Definitely interesting. Alright, let's get out of here. Um, yeah, let's head back to... And just like that, we got the band back together. I guess so. So any luck gathering info? Yes. Now would be a good time to compare what we found. In that case, how about we meet uh, the cafe inside the department store? Great idea. Let's head there now. A lot of dialogue on this part, man. Lots of dialogue. Imagining things? Um, is something the matter? Oh boy, what's going on now? No, it's nothing. Yeah, if Reen feels it, sums up. It's a little early, but heck, I'm down for lunch. Forget tea time. How about we take meal time? Milliam, I think you've eaten enough. More than enough. A call? Oh, okay. Representative Regnance. Greetings, Ring. My apologies for contacting you out of the blue like this. I was wondering if by chance you might have met with the rest of Class 7 by now. We did get together with the investigation group in the capital not too long ago, in fact. I take it you have some idea of what's going on with us? More or less, but not like back when in back I'm sorry, back when the intelligence bureau was under direct control of the government. Man, it's wild that we have a direct line to the head of government, huh? About that, there's a matter of the utmost importance I must discuss with you all. Assuming you haven't eaten yet, I'd like to discuss it over lunch. Great timing. Let's all grab a bite together. It'll be our pleasure. Much appreciated. I'll be waiting at the the Dehimo Hotel and the Gardner District. I was wondering why that district didn't pop up, and the Oz District. Uh, oh, and please don't feel rushed. I have plenty of time. All right. Thank you as always. Okay. Representative Regnitz wants to discuss something with us directly. Perhaps he's learned something pertaining to the incident. Either way, I think we can account on something juicy. They're him, right? 
That's a fancy hotel in the Garnier district. Lunch at the hotel, huh? Consider me pumped. How about you, Eustace? Please, I'm begging you. Don't forget your table manners. It seems we still have a bit of free time. It would be best to tie up any loose threads now while we have the chance. Right, this could be a golden opportunity to investigate the Garnier district. Once we're all set, let's head to the hotel. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is... Go start uh, getting everybody's armor and everything else and armoring everybody up. It's going to take me a little bit, so I'm going to do that off screen. But you will see this as a quick edit. Uh, but be right back. All right. We finally got doing uh, everything that we need to do to set everybody up. Man, I'm pinching pennies, though, man. It's so hard to get uh, money in the beginning of this game. But I'm gonna her, uh, head to the uh, Garnia district first. There's something I want to pick up here, and then we're gonna do Dorothy's quest. Then we'll come back to the hotel here and speak to. Um, I don't sense anyone following me now. Ah, uh, yeah. So why did I sense it before? Did something happen, Rain? Yeah. All right. Come over here. Buy the strawberry crate. And then we're going to head over here to the jewelry store. I might have to end up selling something else to get the item up in here. I am broke as a joke. The jewelry they got inside these babies is always so pretty. Pretty enough to buy for me. Right, Yuzis? <laughs> Ask me again in a decade. <laughs> you got it, sugar daddy. I'm going to watch you do it. Just don't be broke so you can splurge on me. <laughs> You're ridiculous. Yo, she called him. The interact is so sweet. <laughs> she called him sugar daddy. That shit is funny as hell, man. Uh, okay, you talking about a tr, bro? I'm just trying to check and see what you got in the store, man. Okay, all right, all right. Maybe I need to talk to the other lady over here. Yo, she said you got it, sugar daddy, boy. <laughs> Uh, I take about a thousand. Uh, shit. Um. Damn, I should have came over here and got some stuff. They got a pretty decent, uh, some pretty decent stuff up in here. This doesn't seem like a lot of money, but when you like in the beginning of this game, you are broke as shite. And yeah, it costs a bit. Um, what can net me about a, a G right now? What am I not using? What am I not? I don't use those potions for the most part anyway. Got to be something. You know what? I could probably afford to sell one of those. Um, let's see. What is utterly, totally useless? I can't think of anything. Sheesh, man. That's how bad off I am right now. Um, You know what? I'll sell a power droplet. It's one strength. I don't care. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. But these right here are... And then plus you can combine them to stuff later. Alright, um, let's see, who can I give this to? Got some good stuff on Elliot. Break damage. Hmm. Eh. You know what? I might um what is that? 60? Ah, it's only 20 on it. Um there, yeah. We'll give it to her. For now, for now, for now. All right, that's the last thing I needed to get here. Um, we're gonna go back over to Leica and head to the museum. Go do this mission for Dorothy. 
That dude look creepy as hell. Just stand there just chilling, huh? Alright. Yep. Alright. I need to save here. All right, and what weirdness is going to happen out here this time? Ha! I'll just say, what the hell is that? Ha! Hmm. My word. Real accurate info there, Four Eyes. <laughs> Didn't she say she couldn't find any monsters? The hell are these things? They're like critters. They're that, uh, that old uh, sci-fi movie, the Critters. That just means the situation has gotten worse since Dorothy checked. And I don't think these are your average kind of monsters. Agreed. I've seen this type of creature in the past. An evil fairy. Really? Undoubtedly a type of demon. Just as we expected them. They're kind of cute. The fuck? <laughs> no, they're not. Sure, but they're a pain in big groups. I don't know if it's because of them, but I feel a chill on my skin. That just speaks to how powerful the spiritual presence uh, is here. Somehow, though, I don't think these demons are the only reason for this. Let's keep our guards up. Take care of these things. Fine. Bring it. Ah. Getting it back into it. Um, as a matter of fact, yeah. Let's scan them. Uh. Hey, I'm not gonna waste Numbers no time up. on these things. Let's uh, uh, what do we have? That white decoration is dope. Ninety percent damage reduction. Shit. Beautiful. Ah, uh, raging Blazing fire. Let's just go for it. Blazing swarm. This will be fun. My God, I keep forgetting his moves don't stretch out like. Got something for you. Bullseye. It's my go. Yes, it is, Elliot. Uh, 160. Eh, you know it will. We'll throw it on the other crowd over here. Hmm. Let's see, these guys aren't gonna move, huh? Well, shit. Arcus, activate. I'm up. Same thing with him. Ah! What a pain. Crimson Flash. Eh, not that powerful. Leave it to me. Not that powerful at all. On your knees. What <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Stay away. I'm up. Okay. <laughs> sure. Ah. 
Oh shit. That put everybody to sleep. Wow. Well, damn. Okay. Yeah, that will Sorry, kill him. Everyone. <laughs> yeah, petrify on him. That thing causes sleep and petrify. It's my turn. Ah, oh, God. That was embarrassing. Yeah. Thanks. Numbers up. Well. That was some Got no time to waste. ridiculousness in the beginning. Combat situation resolved. That's that. It looks like there's still more. It could easily be that they'll just keep coming instantly. And that spiritual presence is as strong as ever. Whatever. They're all small fry to me. But I suppose your little sis ain't too bad towards her. Aye, bro. <laughs> the old class seven already knew that. True enough. You know, this really brings me back. Before graduation, didn't we fight together in the old schoolhouse? Beautiful fencing, powerful arts, and precise support. There's no way you learned all that at St. Estrella. St. Estrella, St. Estrella, whichever one. Correct. I, belo I belong to no club either. In my case, the rapier skills father taught me serve as a basis for my fighting technique. And when I was younger, Reen tutored me as well. I see. You said as much as the dojo earlier, but you grew up in a perfect environment. She even took lessons from Master Kafai with me before. Didn't know that. And then on top of that, she's been trained by the Storm Watcher too. Honestly, you could describe Elisa's style as entirely unique to her. I think the Storm Watcher is Kurt's mom. That's I think that's her nickname. Please, you exaggerate. Damn, you ain't Schwartz's little sis for nothing. Huh? Weird. What was that just now? This is the voice Dorothy mentioned. It's coming from deeper within. You gotta be shitting me. It's totally different from before. Is this an apparition? I swear I just saw something resembling Paroma grass for a second. This pressure is immense. This thing's completely different than we fought so far. Yeah. This is not going to be good. A hostile spiritual being. It's my first time seeing one like this. Alright. I'm going to end here. And when we come back. It looks like we're going to have to take this damn thing down. Whatever this is. But thank you guys for rocking with me. I appreciate everybody checking out the vids. Oh man. This is this is getting crazier and crazier. There's a lot of weird stuff happening. Like weird groups being falling together. A lot of weird stuff happening. Just like, where is the story kind of going? I, it's a lot of mystery right now. But we're going to get back into it and come back. I appreciate everybody checking out the vids. If you're new to the channel, tap that like button. Please hit that subscribe and come back. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.